Welcome back to Curdication. It's Cedar Point Nights. Crystal's behind me. She's lost her voice. Say hi, honey. Hi. Uh, as you can see, we're in a bungalow. So uh, thanks, big shout out to Cedar Point for having us out. And they hooked us up with a bungalow tonight and a bunch of uh, sand dollars. So we can uh, go ahead and walk you through the whole process here at uh, Cedar Point Nights. So this is a special summer festival that they put on from July 29th to August 21st. It's on the beach, right in front of Breakers. We're right on the beach here and there are six bungalows. So we're in the bungalow area and you have to check in. You get these cool lanyards. So these you have to reserve before you come out. Uh, you get these VIP lanyards and uh, you also get a locker uh, to put your stuff in right behind the couch. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. parked on the Magnum gate, walked right to the boardwalk, and as soon as you get out of the boardwalk, you can see the bungalows here. They're right on the left next to the sandbar. To access the bungalows, you walk through the sandbar onto the patio, and there's steps down onto the beach, and the bungalows are to your immediate left. Here is the bungalow area. They'll light fires tonight, they said, and they actually have s'mores kits. This is the area here. So we, they are numbered each station. So we're at station three here. So we get, I'm assuming this area and uh, fire pit area right back here too. So, but um, you also get um, access to the server here. So if you're staying here, so you can get grill items. You can order food. You get access to the drink menu here for the specialty drinks. I'll have to go ask. And you can get Domino's pizza delivered. Huh. Got my shoesies off. This is where the lockbox is. So you can put your valuables in there and enjoy the beach. And with the bungalow, you do get 20 sand dollars to use. So, very cool. How's the lounger? I know you lost your voice. You can just thumbs up or thumbs down if not. It's good? It's good. Good? How many kernies? Give it nine out of ten kernies. Nine out of ten kernies. The only thing that would make it better is a little more cushion. Yeah, but these are like lounging in the Very sun nice. kind of thing. Nice view. The beach bungalow menu that you get when you're here. So that is uh, something you pay for. So if you want to, you can open a open a tab. Uh, we're probably gonna try the strawberry daiquiri. Uh, which is just Bacardi rum and strawberry daiquiri mix. So uh, the server comes to the bungalow, so, and then takes your order. You can just start a tab with them. And for the Cedar Point Nights, so they actually give you the sand dollars are actually made out of wood. So they're actually pretty cool. So one I think is six bucks, um, five for 27, I forget the rest. So they, get, they come in this nice little bag too. Pretty cool. It's a view from the front. Our mess of a stroller. <laughs> kind of hard schlepping that thing through here, but it's the fire pit, some chairs. All right, bye-bye. Are you ready to go to the luau? All right, so we walked from the bungalows down towards the Lake Erie luau and hit the beach first. So we actually stopped here at the beach, went down the pathway onto the beach. They actually had a beach bar right to the right. So it's extremely convenient. They took sand dollars at that location. Uh, but if you went left, they had the basketball game, which cost two sand dollars per play. They also had this neat little shoe caddy. So you can take your shoes off and, you know, hey, head right to the basketball, play some games. Prizes, my son got the dinosaur prize, really loved it. My daughter got the wand. She still has it, plays with it at home and then we have this master of a juggler here <laughs> to enjoy and then we actually headed down towards the water 
As we headed towards the water, you can see that they have these fire pits with some chairs and loungers around them. These are free, no cost, you do not need to reserve. I recommend getting here early if you'd like to use them, probably around 5 or 6 because crowds start to build up when the event starts, around 7 or 8. So it's like 75 degrees outside and the water feels like about 72. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. When it was like 95 yesterday, it would have been great, but woo! We didn't bring our bathing suits, but some people are swimming. Here's the construction site where Wicked Twister used to be. There's the Grand Pavilion, as you can see the construction, and this is also where they're going to be putting the new roller coaster, Wild Mouse, and relocating some of the other rides into the park to this area for 2023. It was also very cool to see Windseeker going here on the Boardwalk Beach area. Uh, after the beach, we went to the Lake Erie Luau, so here is the entrance. As soon as you walk in, on the left, you can actually see the full menu, and as you pass underneath here, you can get uh, a lay. So they had someone uh, handing out lays as soon as you walked in, and it was extremely nice. So this pavilion is extremely large, can house, house a lot of people uh, for this event, so we definitely um, found a nice picnic table to sit at and enjoy our food. They had these, those cool little standalone uh, places where we could actually stand and you know sip on a drink and here are the menu signs so you walk up to each one of these and uh, exchange your sand dollars for a food item here is another panoramic view of the pavilion and the restrooms is actually in that building right there but I thought that was a good shot of the water tower and the power tower and here are a couple of the games here. My kids played both games. They loved both games uh, here in the Lake Erie Luau um, for those prizes. They played till you win. And uh, is, uh, right outside is this is actually where we got our souvenir shirts for the Cedar Point Nights. And my wife got the sweater, um, and I actually got the T-shirt and button pack. It's $19.99, and you get both. They had a couple other things, some other shirts, hats, other items for sale as well. I saw a few people with the unsalted coast. I thought that was funny since Lake Erie is freshwater. In the pavilion for the Lake Erie Luau, they do have a bar here in the corner that's open from 6 to 11 p.m. Uh, this is where our, I actually grabbed a couple of juices for my kids. They like the apple and the grape juice. It was very good. However, for the adults, we got the signature two sand dollar fish bowl alcoholic drink. It was very good. Yeah. What do you give the chicken? Four? I'm going to give it a four. Four out of ten kernies? Four out of ten kernies. Because of the mushy it's like chicken. It's like borderline of five because the flavor was good. It's good. Yeah. But the consistency, texture wise, it was, it's a big thing with me. Maybe I'll try another one later and see if it's just it was, a bad it was, one. It tasted good. It didn't taste bad at all. It yeah. was just a weird weird Mush, mushy yeah yeah what about the steak one the steak one was good i'd still give that one a five out of ten kernies but the steak was also smushy um a little less smushy than chicken probably because it's a different meat but the flavors on both were really good mm -hmm. i liked that they had the pineapple and the vegetables yeah it was good i'm not used to pineapple i really like that yeah it was good well might as well keep going potato salad i'll get the potatoes called made out of ten pretty good it tastes different than like store-bought. I don't exactly know what the flavor it is, but it's like a little tangy. They probably added pineapple or something along it, but it's good. It's like uh, the potatoes aren't very hard. It's not like too it's good. Uh, liquidy. Yeah, it's good. The skewers, chicken and steak, they're at station one. The uh, steak was good. I can I give the steak a 7 out of 10. Potato salad was really good, 7 out of 10 kernies. It was very good potato salad. And then, yeah, same thing with the jerk chicken. Pineapple was really good on the top. And yeah, it was a little little bit tougher, um, but no, it was good. So I'll give the, the jerk chicken a six out of 10 kernels. I'm gonna go get a po' boy. <laughs> the jerk chicken has a pineapple salsa on top. I'd give it seven out of 10 kernels. The only reason it didn't do higher is it was a little tough, like it was overcooked, but it was really good. The seasoning was good. The pineapple salsa isn't supposed to come with the chicken, but I'm glad they gave it to me because it definitely added a little extra flavor. It was good. I liked it a lot. So here's the po' boy. They do ask for a hot sauce. I said no because I'm a little sissy. 
but you get french fries, looks like some coleslaw, and then a hot dog. So we'll check it out. The desserts are separate from the food offerings at Station 5. Here is the pineapple coconut cheesecake. has coconut on the top of a cheesecake. Summer berry parfait. Some chocolate shavings on top with whipped cream. Hawaiian dream cake. I really like that blue color. Going in for the coconut cheesecake. Actually, it doesn't taste that coconutty. It's pretty good. You got the corner, so it's probably just the coconut on the top. It tastes no, yeah, it's coconut in it. It tastes more like a caramel cheesecake with coconut sprinkles on top. It's good. It's good. How many? I give it a five out of ten. I also took a bite out of the blue Hawaiian cake because the desserts were not for us. I didn't get any frosting because my child would have murdered me. And the cake was dry. It tasted like an angel food cake with blue food dye in it. It was good. I think it like a 5 or 6 out of 10 for an East too. I'm sure with the frosting it would have been better. And it comes with like a chocolate seashell on top. So that's pretty good. Seashells on the seashore. Seashells on the seashore. Good, right? I agree. It's been definitely like a, like a vanilla pudding in the middle with some fruit jam. It's good. It's moist. It's not like overbearingly sweet, but it has a lot of flavor. It's good. I I give it eight out of ten. Thirty. It's good. Chocolate. It's good. Probably my favorite dessert. Yeah, I haven't even tried those yet, but I can already tell you it's probably my favorite. Whipped cream's good, it's very sweet. They got like the chocolate shavings on the top. It's like a vanilla pudding in the middle. I don't really know, it's probably wrong. And then like a fruit jam. And then like a crusty, uh, a pie crust bottom. No, it's very good, eight out of 10. Kearney's all day long. I thought the blue Hawaiian cake was pretty good. I thought it was, I think maybe Crystal had a weird side, but mine was actually pretty moist. It was like, uh, I give it a six out of 10. It was good, sweet, um, and then I don't like coconut, so I'm not gonna unfairly rate the coconut cheesecake. The fish bowl, did you rate the fish bowl? I don't know. Mm. Very island, islandy drink. If you're looking for an islandy drink, get that then. Ice like vacation. Good. It's like toes in the sand. Eight out of ten, all day long. It's really I, good. I give it a, uh, I'd say eight or nine out of ten. It was good. And yeah. you don't taste the alcohol, but it's not too sweet either. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very good. On your forehead, and then you have to work it in your mouth without using your hands. So you gotta balance it on your head? Uh-huh. Give it a go. What happens if I drop it? I you fail the cookie chip. <laughs> we don't use grounders here. You ready, Bubba? You wanna watch Mommy do it? I'm gonna try it for real. You ready? You could've left it in the bag. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, I just move it down my face. Uh -huh. You can use all the muscles in your face. You can use it in your tongue. <laughs> it looks silly if you want to. It's fun. <laughs> Look, Bella, it's going. Watch it go slow. Go, 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 go. Watch it. Oh, it's going slow. Oh, it's the nose. That's the challenge. one out <laughs> play until you win it costs two sand dollars and you get a squishmallow or the seagull look you took out another one all right my dude throw it onto a seagull <laughs> stick it on there hooray <laughs> Woohoo! oh that's a large oh, 
Good job. You can have any of these. You can have any of them. They all go. Go for the big one. Want that one? Yes. Yeah. It works. There you go. Here we go. Got your sweater. Yep. $42.99. And with Prestige Pass, we get 15% off. Woohoo! Extra five. Give me a twirl. Let me see the back. Straighten it. Oh, you're too quick. Pretty cool. All right, after getting our swag and uh, finishing up getting some prizes, we headed actually back to the beach bungalows. If you look to the right here, that's where we're coming from, the Lake Erie Luau. And we're just heading to the other side of the beach uh, towards the beach bungalows. Did they start the fire? Yeah, it's nice and warm. Got some s'mores. S'mores kit with uh, marshmallow sticks, marshmallows, graham crackers, and chocolate. Really stack it up. Pretty cool. So we went ahead and took this opportunity to make a s'more. Here's our s'more. Kinda rough. I'm not a very good s'more maker. That's mm. what's crap. Pretty good. I'm gonna go s'more. You wanna try a bite? No, no thank you. You wanna try a bite? We got this seashell dig. You wanna go dig? You guys want to dig? Dig with the seashells here, right? I don't know if there's any in there. See if you can find some. There's our bungalows. We got cornhole. Some more fire pits. All right, so there's a Fitzgerald family capsule. It's like a treasure hunt. Uh, clue number one is uh, right behind me. Uh, the gentleman's standing there, so you start there and then you search for the clues. Kind of like a scavenger hunt, uh, something to do for the kids that are a little bit older. Our kids are probably too young, two and four, but right now the kids, they'll just sit in this seashell dig all day long. We should have came here first. They love it. <laughs> Gotta have to hose them off when we get home though. Yeah, this lanyard lights up so cool. See the lights behind me, the moon, pretty cool. All right, now it's getting a little darker. They got the, uh, Lights go in, the seats are turned on. They turn on the seats probably starting around 8 45, 9 o'clock. So, moon's out tonight. I like the glow seats. So, it's very choose your own adventure, it feels like. You can sit, relax, have a drink, go dance by the DJ, kids play in the sand pit, play cornhole, sit by the beach, sit by the fire. And I think one of my favorite parts was just watching Windseeker when it's all lit up go up and down from the beach. It's really awesome. I definitely recommend getting there earlier before it gets too dark. It's more kid friendly uh, in the earlier hours of the event as it progresses through the rest of the evening, I would assume, especially on weekends. I'm Vivian Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for making our luau such a success. So how do y'all feel about some limbo? Yeah? Yeah? All right. After getting our limbo on, we headed to the games on the beach, the glow ring toss. Two sand dollars, didn't play that. My kids wanted to shoot the basketball hoop, uh, so my son shot the basketball hoop. My daughter shot the basketball hoop, and as you can see, should have probably lit up for my son on the first try, but it lit up for my daughter, so they really liked that. To play till you win, two sand dollars each. I really liked how they had a kid's version of it. I got it. Trying my neck drink. 
Blue raspberry, right? Yeah, it's Hennessy peach, blue raspberry, and lemonade. It's good. I love yeah, it. It's good. Nine out of ten kernies for I, me. I'd say uh, eight out of ten kernies for me because it's a taste I would get bored with. So we just got back from partying with the DJ and they kept our fire going. That is so awesome. It's just, they really take care of you here. It's very nice, very convenient. We were just like, oh, let's go back and see if we can get a fire going. And look at that. They just had it screaming. That is awesome. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I think that's my favorite part about the bungalow is just the service you get. You get an attendant, you know, order drinks, order food, and you're a little bit, so it might be a plus or a minus because as you can see, you're kind of away from the noise and it's nice if you want like a little quiet um, and you don't want to be loud, loud, loud. So you can go over there, get the loud music and then come back here and just chill out. And then just enjoy the sounds of Lake Erie and roast a s'more. So we're back at the bungalow. We got our nice fire. Got the flash going because it's dark over here. It's dark now. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's really awesome. This is my first time at Cedar Point Nights. So thanks again for Cedar Point for having us out. It's been a great experience. Um, big pluses with the bungalow is it's really separate from the party. So the party is down the strip and they have the bicyclist going away. So if they see these VIP, they can pick you up. So like they have the cruiser ride so they can take you down to the luau. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's not bad. Um, they had uh, a, uh, a limbo. That was really cool. The kids really loved the seashell dig. We didn't really get to do the capsule thing. We saw a couple of the clues, but um, other than that, yeah. Another big perk is, like I said before, they had the fire going for us, so it's nice just to, someone's taking care of the fire for you um, when you get one of these bungalows. And it's separate, it's private, it has that, you know, nice, you know, uh, catered feel to it. The service is great. The uh, kids love the DJ, so before it got too dark, you know, it was starting to get a little bit full um, with people. Um, as at like 10 o'clock, they do like a dance off and it probably gets more like teen, adult after it. So that was a good time for us to come back to the bungalow and just kind of hang out. Favorite drink is Henny Raz. Love this thing. It's three sand dollars, but it's good. Um, favorite food, steak skewers. So if I had six sand dollars, I get two steak skewers, a potato salad and a Henny Raz. And I'll then how much that. are the sand dollars? Uh, for, it was like 70, 72 bucks for 15 um, sand dollars. But um, yeah, I'll double check, you know, and it just the inclusion. So you get like 20 of them. So like it's really 200 bucks to get like this VIP treatment and it feels VIP. So um, really like it. Uh, it's a great experience. My kid had a my kids had a great time. They love the games, uh, the play till you win. So it's two sand dollars. So like six sand dollars for you maybe six sand dollars for your kids so they can play games and, and they get a prize so there's like lots of like light up toys and things like that too so many light up toys like so uh, right next to like, you yeah like this thing like it was two sand dollars which if you think is one sand dollar six bucks is 12 bucks but and I mean, you consider though when you buy those yeah. glow up things in the parks it's like They're 15 dollars yeah yeah for those bubble things are 25 bucks so i mean yeah it's, it's really cool so i really like this event it's a great event. I like it so far. I like the glow lanyards. Really nice touch. It makes you stick out on VIP kind of feel. So it, it, it feels pretty cool. Feels really good. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel in a big way. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. We'll see you next time.